it's always important to find out what set of principles govern an individual. If these are people you are dealing with, if these are people you are working with, it's a person you are getting married to, it's a person you are trying to get into a partnership with, try as much as possible to know what set of principles govern them. Because people who are who 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 are being governed by a set of principles, when it's time for conflict resolution, when there's there's a when there's a misunderstanding, when there's when there is a, a time when when there's a, a time or when there's when when such a time comes for for you and whoever this person is, if you are supposed to have a, a level ground so that certain choices and decisions are going to be made, all those people you are dealing with, the only way they can, they can be brought to the table is by looking at a set of principles that govern them. Very important. Run away from people who are not governed by any set of principles. Now, a person who is not governed by any set of principles is like a, it's like a five hundred, it's like a five hundred pound bear, on the loose. Very, it's very difficult to bring them to the table. Very difficult to bring them to the, to the table to negotiate anything, because they are not governed by anything. You can't hold them by anything. You see, a set of rules. Or principle that is governing you it's like it's like a leash so when you have when you have a pet dog you put a leash around their neck so that it's easier to handle them very important and human beings are governed by so many a lot of people have a lot of things that is governing them you know some people decide to read certain things from certain books you know um, and that is why that is what that is what they are operating out of. You know, it's very important. If you're dealing with somebody who is not being governed by any set of rules, personal principles that they themselves have submitted or they themselves have committed to. You know, when they even make when they even make certain decisions. That is moving a certain way. Nothing, you see, you can never talk them out of it. Even if that whatever they have chosen, whatever they have, they have decided to do is a wrong thing. Nothing, nothing can bring them back to the table to negotiate on anything. Very important. And it's sad, a lot of people out there, a lot of people you deal with, a lot of people you meet, a lot of people you try to, talk to a lot of people you see some of the things that come and talk here and talk come and discuss over here they look very simple but they are very important a human being that is, that is not has not submitted to any set of rules or principles they are working by very difficult to bring to the negotiation table very difficult to to have a level ground or a middle ground with them you know when it comes to a time of conflict resolution a lot of marriages are suffering because of this the person is not being governed by any set of principles so when there's an issue you don't even know how to address it. you don't you don't know what to do and what how to even frame what to even bring them to the table. You don't know what you are going to use. This is a Christian channel. If a child of God is, is committed and is governed by the set of principles in the Bible, you realize that the very moment, the very moment you, co- you, 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 you use the word of God as your basis, they come under control. They come under control. They start considering. They are able to reconsider. You're able to bring them 
to the negotiation table and then, you know, try to look at everything all over again. Well, well it's, it's a very, very, very dangerous thing to deal with people who are not governed by any set of rules and principles. <clears throat> a lot of people are govern, governed by different things. Some people are governed by love your neighbor as yourself. Some people. Some people are governed by that. That, that, that is their golden rule. That is what they live by. Other people are also governed by <clears throat> diverse never lack. There are some people who live, who live by that. You know, they believe it strongly. Give us, give us, we'll never lack. So this is what, and, and, and the, a lot of the things people do, a lot of the things people do, a lot of the things you see people, people become so committed and keep doing it over and over and over, you know. People go overboard and keep doing that thing. It's, there's a, some set of principles they have bought into that helps them be able to continue doing that particular thing. I'm telling you, some people are governed by discipline. Some. Discipline. So, a person like that, to bring them to the table or whatever is going on, and a lot of times when they go off, you have to check your side, you check whether what, what is governing them was adhered to. Because that if... If someone is being governed by discipline, when they tell you that when they tell you the meeting time is seven o'clock and you come there at seven ten, it's you're gonna be in trouble. It's very important to know. A set of rules that govern people, some of the people you talk to, some of the people you deal with, you know, it's a good question to ask people you want to you want to have around you, you know. Um, a lot of people you have around you, your staff and all that. What set of rules, what, is, what are they governed by? Hmm? What set of, what principle are they governed by? Hmm? What are you governed by? What do you believe in? You know, not, I'm, I'm saying not what do you believe in, not in a, in a place of faith, but personally, what do you believe in? You know, some will tell you, what I don't do to you, don't do it to me. Hmm? So love your neighbor as yourself. Some believe in discipline. You know, some will tell you, you know, when I tell you it's 7, don't show up at 7 or 1. I won't accept it. A lot of people have a lot of things that are governing them. Some people have been governed by certain books they've read. You know, And some are governed by the word of God. You know, some are, some are allow themselves to be governed by the Ten Commandments. Very important. And so all of these things is out there in society, it's not being paid attention to. It's causing problems. It's causing a lot of problems. The people who you have around you, hmm, try to find out what set of rules, what set of principles, what principles they are governed by? What is, what is that thing, their golden thing? That's, that's everybody, I mean, not everybody, you know. And not everybody has it. <laughs> if the person doesn't have it, it's a big problem. If a person that is not governed by any set of rules, any set of principles, it means they'll do whatever they want. Yeah, they'll do whatever they want. Today, they will do this tomorrow, they'll do another thing, the next day they can do this tomorrow, they'll do another thing. Yeah, tomorrow they do A, the next day they do B, the next day they do Z, today they do A. You know, they are not governed by a set of principles. A set of principles. Every person has to be governed by a set of principles because those set of principles, when there are issues, when they have to resolve something, you know, Based uh, you can look based on those set of principles that they are governed by, you can know how to deal with whatever is going on. You know how to you can know how to bring them to the table of negotiation. That's very important. <clears throat>